So back in 2012, like every other aspiring photographer, writer, musician, and performer, I was struggling. I was struggling with IIT JE, and uh, I barely survived my 11th and 12th grade. You know, thinking about life, how amazing it would be once I enter college. A little bit of fun there, a little bit of fun there as well. A bit more fun. And yeah, somewhere around, even focus on studies, have a amazing GPA and placement. Bole to core company only, bro. <laughs> Nothing else, right? So that's how I imagined college life to be like. But as soon as college started, this happened. God, <laughs> like there's this huge monster standing in front of me, as like it's called attendance, and. Uh, you know it forced me to wake up every single day at 7 a.m and just make efforts that i'm not thrown out of the class inside the classroom and it was tough it was tough for a person like me and uh, when i started braving this monster i realized a few hacks here and there don't ask me how i did that as soon as things were you know seeming to be a bit better this happened another monster bigger one it is called cgpa or what i like to call it as Uh, constantly grabbing parents' attention. <laughs> and then I progressed through college. I was in third year. As like, hey, I am able to brave attendance. I have a decent CGPA, seven pointer. And it's like, what worse can happen? It's like, whoa, this happens. A big fat monster called placement comes into the picture, which is ironical because the kind of placement packages that we are getting and being offered were like as tiny as little me over there. All right, all right, brilliant, great. Um, everybody goes through this. Like there are thousands of students on my campus from my batch going through all of this. Uh, I'll I'll manage, right? I'll manage. I'll figure something out. And then this happened. Stupid Cupid turns up. And like anyway, the entire uh, system is in chaos, right? There's so much of monsters to deal with, and then Cupid comes out and let me, you know, spice it up a little bit. Let me add a little bit of love, and see how it all turns out. I was like, all right, great. And um, I was, I was like completely confused on how to deal with this kind of a chaos, with uh, placement, CGPA, attendance, and Cupid uh, all attacking me at the same time. And uh, what happened was, what I was really interested in, or the things that I really wanted to do, I didn't have the time to do that. I wasn't able to play my guitar. I wasn't able to pursue astronomy, which I was really passionate about. Um, neither was I able to produce music or any of that stuffs. And I started questioning myself. I started questioning the system. Does it really have to be like this? Do we tend to use? uh things like attendance cgpa and all of that as excuses preventing ourselves from doing what we are capable of doing or doing awesome things and then i came across this particular number now this might represent my cgpa in seventh semester <laughs> but not really like what it actually represents is 2.15 trillion dollars now what's that This is the combined value of Facebook, Google, Microsoft, and Apple together. Ah, uh, not interesting. But look at this. The entire GDP of India is 2.3 trillion. And the funny thing about the companies that I mentioned, the four companies that I mentioned, all of them were started by college entrepreneurs. Were started in college or were started off by college dropouts. So four people sitting in the United States build four companies whose value together is equivalent to the GDP of India. Oh, that's something that college students like you and I can do as well. And um, that has it had its effect even on India, where a few companies like or uh, like the world uh, calls them these days as startups, right? A few startups like Aether Energy came out from IIT Madras, um, who recently got a. Um, Uh, funding of 40 million dollars by Hero Corporation, started by students inside IIT Madras. Another company called Practo. How many of you know Practo? It started off in uh, NIT Karnataka in their third or fourth year of college. 
Oyo Rooms, how many of you know the story of Ritesh Agrawal? The 23-year-old entrepreneur started off when he was 20 or 19, if I'm not wrong, didn't even go to college. So I, I happened to come from this background of uh, student entrepreneurs and I started my company when I was in 19. Okay, when I was 19, when I was in my second year of college and it all started with the hostel room. Everything starts there, all the world's deepest conspiracies are born out there and it happened right like you know one day before my examination you we all know what happens in a hostel room before an exam right we're discussing economics politics quantum physics astrophysics education system amma sunny leon everything everything under sun and through the course of discussion that i was having with my friends i realized that my friend over there wanted to be an economist i wanted to be an astronomer and the third person over there wanted to be a writer. So how did it happen that three people with such distinct passions and interests from three different parts of the world are studying fluid dynamics out of everything in the world? <laughs> there's some problem, right? There's a problem in our system and there's a problem in our education system. And what I realized was this problem was, just, was not just faced by me and my friends inside the hostel room, but also being faced by my seniors and my juniors and more than 20 million students every single year. So we decided to go out there and solve that and that is what was the beginning of my startup called The Climber, which helps students like you, teenagers like you, get mentored in the field of your passions and interests to make an informed career choice. Um, so we started off in second semester, uh, no, third semester of college and by the end of college we're already operating in 12 different cities having a valuation more than 1.2 million dollars and you know impacting more than 35,000 students and this all happened while we were braving our cycle test one cycle test two model examination practical examination and for students like me earlier exams as well So coming to the topic uh, I'm over here to talk about is why college is the best time to start up. Number one, access to talent and opportunities. Now the first question that a lot of students ask me is that uh, what's the first step when it comes to entrepreneurship? I don't know anything about running a business. How can I go out there and start my own company? Well, you can learn everything about starting a business or starting an organization by simply looking out for opportunities on campus. Things like uh, being a part of the organizing committee of TEDx works pretty well. There are organizations like Inactus and ISEC that you can be a part of where you can actually learn how businesses or nonprofits are uh, run, organizations grow, and the most important thing of all, leadership. You learn how to lead teams only when you take part in these uh, uh, organizations or take up these opportunities, and all of these opportunities are present inside the campus. The second thing also over here is talent. Now, I do not know how many students are there on this campus, but when I was in my uh, college, there were 20,000 people on campus. 20,000 people with different passions, different interests, skills. Uh, for an entrepreneur, that's the best thing ever. If I want to start an app company, I can go to a tech club, recruit two, three app developers from there. If I want to have a blog company or a content company, I can go to the literature club and pick up a few students from there. And Basically, whatever I needed to start with, the kind of team that I needed to start anything was available on the campus. And that's an amazing um, um, you know, opportunity for you guys as well if you guys are planning to start a company. It can't get more easier than this. The second thing is funding and incubation. Past three months I've been traveling around India giving talks in different colleges. And the thing that I noticed in all of these uh, talks or the colleges that I visited was most of them already had a startup ecosystem inside the college. Now that's absolutely brilliant. Be it the e-cells being present there, be it the accelerators, be it the research incubators, or the incubators as well. And you have programs like the Atal Innovation um, program, which is funding students between 1 lakh to 15 lakh by just submitting your ideas. And that's there, like all these incubators and um, accelerators are present in most colleges. In case they are not, you can still apply to colleges like IIT Madras or IIM Bangalore where there's no restriction on the kind of students coming in or where the students are coming in from. And for us, this happened. We got incubated and funded by IIM Bangalore in uh, late 2015 
and we were students from Chennai from a college called SRM. So there's nothing stopping you from, you know, going out there and getting access to these funds or getting access to the third thing which I call mentors. Now, you guys are 18, 19, and you guys don't really know how to run a business is what you guys think. And uh, he's like, okay, if I, uh, you know, start something, what if things go wrong? I have absolutely no idea how to perceive. And there's so much of confusion uh, in the head. So this is where mentors come in. You might not have the experience, but there are people on your campus who have run businesses for more than 20 years, 25 years. There are people who have done research in the Internet of Things, in the artificial intelligence, have been in the field of computer science for so many years, and they can act as mentors for you guys to make over for the difference in knowledge or the knowledge gap that exists between you and the industry. And remember that um, when these um, individuals who are like who are amazing in the fields today, when they were young and when they started off, they had mentors as well. So it turns out to be the responsibility or as well to give it back to the society and give it back to students like you and me who are passionate about something but have some kind of a knowledge gap. The fourth thing is low risk. What kind of a risk do you guys have in life? What kind of responsibilities do you, guys have, do you guys have in life compared to someone who's 28, 32, 45, 48? Think about it. You don't have a family to take care of yet. Even if you fail, you have the support of your parents to you know, financially back you up. If you fail in friendship, you can always change the friend circle. And there's, there's so much of luxury of failure that comes in when you're in college. Yeah, one semester fail again, next semester you can make up for it and uh, you know, ba bounce back up and get your GPA straight. So this is one more important thing and one of the most advantageous things when it comes to starting up in college. We, before we scaled it to like eight, uh, sorry, 12 different cities, we failed thrice. We were bankrupt before even starting the organ, like around launching the product, three months post starting the organization. Within three months of our startup, we are bankrupt, we are in debt, we are in external debt and we didn't know anything about how to, you know, go ahead with it. It is that time that our mentors at IIM Bangalore told us to move away from what we are doing back then to move into something called education technology. And um, then because we had this luxury of being inside college, we also had the luxury to fail and try again. And this, this, this happens with most of the startups because startups usually take at least three years to figure out what they're going to be doing in uh, terms of an organization or what they're going to be doing to scale. So if those three years are inside college, isn't it better than it being outside of it? And the last thing that you guys really need to remember is that you're braver than your belief, you're stronger than you seem, and you're smarter than you think. And you know, you can really brave all of these monsters out there by just having this one thought in your head. Right, so I hope that if you have um, a passion or if you're really interested in starting up, college environment doesn't stop you from doing it. And I hope that you don't procrastinate it for some other time. Thank you so much.